Hi, my name is Josie. Thank you very much for uh, turning back. I would like to do a reading, something that I've written. Uh, I wrote this on July 21st, uh, 2016, uh, and uh, it is a uh, copyrighted by me. And uh, I would like to share with you, if you're a transgender, you really, 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 really want to listen to this and make a comment uh, if you can. Let me start reading. The value of life. Once you are transgender and you, for whatever reason, are not able to transition, life loses its value. Living like that is like living in a prison. But the difference is that no matter what you do, you cannot stop thinking about it and drive you insane. The insanity starts to sink in when your thoughts of life start to fade away. Life ceases to have meaning. Life at this point has only been black and white. What is life if you can be free? Your family and friends will turn against you, so you think. You embrace for the world you brace for the worst scenario. We do not know for certain what it would be if you come out. It is very similar for most of the uh, lesbian, gay, and bisexual community. The difference is that the transgender community is that we have to go through a metamorphosis. What if instead of a beautiful butterfly, I end up being a roach? We can be the ones that everyone, everyone ridiculed and bullied. Do you see it now? Your whole life, people will be laughing at you and not taking you seriously. What about work? People will not hire you because you are different. And you do not reflect our customers' values. driving you to sex work. Beating and taking advantage, but you still want to fly for your freedom and the dream that maybe one day, maybe one day, you can have peace. At what cost? Your life? What you fought for so dearly for? For the freedom that comes from within. <sighs> Lying on the floor of a motel room after being invited by a guy who wants to have a, a BJ. A few drinks. You need it because he promised you some hormones. Instead, your body lies on the floor. Your face is not recognizable. The guy after the fact had that traditional guilt trip. And he has to prove that he is not homosexual. You did try to stop it. You fought back. But he was already standing and you were on your knees. Beaten until he got tired, you gasped your last breath in between pain and blood. Yes, you achieve freedom from this cruel world. You see the light? Your brain is in overload trying to keep itself alive, but the body is not responding. Back flashes of your life pass by. All you remember was the way you always saw yourself. A beautiful fr woman from the inside. And as the brain ceases to exist, Image of the people who once loved you, you say goodbye to them, hoping they will be there for your farewell. As your body is discovered by the cleaning crew, you are recognized as you always were desired. A female. Victim of a vicious murder. No facial recognition can be made. For a moment, until they check to see if there was any sexual abuse. 
they discovered your given nature. There were no witnesses. So your case is dismissed. Not because you were a hooker, but because you were a tranny hooker. The motive was clear for the provocation. Your killer found out you were a man and he didn't like it. Your persona became a motive for you to get brutally murdered. No witnesses to remember a thing. In a matter of, in a matter of hours, you become a cold case. No ID. First time offender equals no fingerprints. Dental records. You couldn't even afford hormones from foreign countries, far less getting that beautiful smile you always wanted. But thankfully, all of your teeth fitted comfortably in your mouth. No reference. No one claimed you. As, mo as months passed by, another girl asked to the police if they have any news from you. They asked her if, they, if she knew what clothes you were wearing at the last time you were alive. She could not remember. Your family? <laughs> out of sight, out of worry. You were a disgrace to them. If they didn't see you, it was best. Your friends gather and do not know what to make out of your disappearance. At least, at last, you are remembered as a woman. No one knew your old name, your family, where you came from. All they knew was that you always wanted the world to know you were a girl who loved to laugh and make jokes. Disguising her true agony and the rejection that society imposed on you. Then, until then, you are truly free to move into another realm. You only hope people could appreciate the fact that you were a person, just like the rest of us. You had feelings that were toughened up by the rejection you faced from us. It was hard for you to ignore all what we did to you, but you managed to cope. You were the toughest I've ever met. You were not able to give birth, but thanks to your aid, other transgenders became inspired by you. You were mother to three girls and a boy. There were the ones who... They were the ones who found all the pieces of the puzzle. They gave you a symbolic funeral. They cried and cried. You had a family of your own and you didn't even know it. They loved you. They're fighting for your rights and theirs. You are their strength. You are the most amazing woman and mother to them. You live now in their hearts. I hope we can understand your nature. I hope we can see the worlds you once saw. I hope we could change things. I hope we can take your experience and empower those who are being crushed by the weight of bigotry. I hope life will be valued based on the fact that you are a living being and not what others dictate. I hope the value of life will be found in everybody else's minds and hearts. I hope that no other death will be done in vain. Your life is precious whether you pass or not. There was and never will be one like you. Your uniqueness bring color to us. Do not deprive us of your life. Do not deprive us of your heart. Turn to your bitterness into joy. Turn your anger into love. 
<laughs> turn your rejection into the acceptance of you, for you, and by you. Turn your isolation into charisma and shine your light so others can see the way. <laughs> Life is difficult for everyone. Do not let others dictate you who you are when they don't even know you or even know your heart. <laughs> it was at the line of life I was at the line of life and death. Suicide seemed the right thing and lo only logical end of so of for the suffering inside. When you're weak, reach out. It's okay to be vulnerable. We can cry together. We can share. Remember those days when you were the happiest? Think now. How much happier you will be once you see the value of life in the spectrum of color. I'm sorry, it always makes me cry. I've heard of these thick cases too many times. If you're not transgender, You can see that we are just regular people. <laughs> Whatever is the reasoning for denying us rights of life. We feel like animals. <laughs> but we're just made of flesh and blood just like you. Just think about it.